Marine scientists at the Scottish Environment Protection Agency regularly find themselves wading through waist-high waters during their working day. Today, they are in the Clyde estuary. They're catching different varieties of fish using different methods. This is seine fishing. A net is pulled out in a horseshoe shape from shore and is then dragged back in to scoop up all the fish in the vicinity. Fike nets are another method and are fish traps, which are set and left overnight. The fish caught are collected in the morning. This is a slightly bigger haul of fish we've got this time. Because we moved to another site, slightly round the confluence where the cat meets the Clyde, and there was a bit more slack water where we were able to catch the fish. We did miss, miss a big salmon that le leapt over the net. But we're quite happy with the results we've got. There's sand gobies, sprats, we've also got a trout and we've got sticklebacks. The fish caught are either measured and recorded on the shoreline or taken back to the boat laboratory on the Sir John Murray where scientists again record the size, species and number. The fish collected are returned to the water quickly. The information recorded here shows the state of the environment the fish live in. Fishing takes place along the full length of the estuary, which is around 25 miles long. This provides a complete picture of the range of fish there. Over the years, the species found and recorded are demonstrating that the Clyde estuary is improving and now has a thriving fish community. Industrialisation of the uh, of the city and the estuary has, has decreased. We've seen a lot of fish coming back. Most spectacularly, the turn of, of the salmon migrating up to the Clyde in the early 1980s. I think it was 1986 that the salmon first came back. But we've seen a gradual increase in the number of fish species in the estuary over those years. I think maybe there's nearly 40, 45 species come in the estuary now. So that's quite a good variety of species. Even smaller species are important. They provide food for bigger fish and for seabirds. Biodiversity, a term used to describe the range of species in an area, is what the scientists are measuring. A high biodiversity is a sign of a healthy environment. And this is what the super scientists are now finding in the Clyde.